With SuperEc Performer, you can use any VST plugin with any live mixing console. At least that's the idea. But let's have a closer look at how to set all of this up with the Allen & Heat T Live mixing console. It's actually easier than you might think, but there are a few pitfalls, so let's make sure you get everything right. So the idea is that all you need is a laptop, and that's not true, at least not for DLive users. If you are on, say, an X32, then uh, absolutely all you need is, is a laptop. But with uh, DLive, you actually need a Waves card in order to connect all of this. But that gives you 128 channels in and out. So the setup is very straightforward. You install your Waves card either on the surface or in the brain. Then you run a Cat5e or Cat6 cable to your Mac or PC. I use a Mac Air, so I need a dongle. And well, that's it, at least on the hardware side. On the software side, there are a few more steps. Uh, first of all, you obviously need to buy SuperEc Performer, preferably on Waves homepage, in this link in the description. Then we're off to Waves Central, which you of course need to install if you haven't already. And here we need to install a few things. So first of all, we need the Allen Heat driver. We also need the SoundGrid QREC and the SoundGrid uh, ASIO driver and obviously SuperEc Performer. So when everything is installed, we need to uh, start uh, the QREC app. And here we need to choose the driver for the network card and then choose the device. And in this case, there's only one, so choose that one. Then I set the buffer size to the lowest setting for the least amount of latency and then choose all the available channels because I'm multi-tracking this as well, so I need all of the channels. And with all this done, we can open SuperEc Performer and let's go to the audio setup and make sure that the device is set to Wave Sound Grid and the sample rate should be synced already, but uh, if not, make sure that the same sample rate as the mixing console. And again, uh, I go for the lowest buffer size. All right, so everything is synced. Now we need to do all the patching. So on the DLive, let's go to the IO settings and uh, to the surface output sockets, because in this case, the Waves card is uh, installed in the surface and it's IO port four. So what I do is that I use the first 64 channels for virtual sound check and uh, recording. Well, in this case, the first 48 channels because there were so few channels. And in this case, channel 49 and up is for SuperEc Performer. So there are essentially two ways to patch things into SuperEc Performer. And let's start with the main bus. Here we go to insert A and engage it and make sure that it's set to digital. And then we need to choose a send channel. So let's select Surface IO port 4, since that's the Waves card. And then we just need to choose uh, two available channels. And in this case, let's use uh, 49 and 50. And then we need to set the return channels. And I usually just use the same numbers, so I keep uh, things in order. That's it for the console, and let's have a look at SuperEc Performer. And I've chosen rack slot number one to be the, the master bus uh, rack. So we need to set the input that we send the insert from the console. So let's choose 49 and 50. And when doing this, Waves will automatically set the output to 49 and 50 as well. And that's what we have in the mixing console. So now we're good to go. So the second way to patch all of this is to go out from an aux and then back in on a channel. So in this case, I send aux 9 out on channel 67 and aux 10 out on 51. So on Waze Performer, I have the Magma Spring Reverb. We sent this out on channel 51, so let's choose 51 as our input, and this is a stereo output, so let's choose stereo, 51 and 52. And back on the console, we just need to select an empty channel and patch in from 
Surface uh, Port 4 and then choose uh, channel uh, 51 and 52. And this will be our effect return coming from uh, SuperEc Performer. So with this setup I have an insert on the master bus with uh, the F6 and the Magma BB tubes. I also have an effect send going into this Magma Spring reverb and returning on a channel on the console. And with SuperEc Performer you can use any VST plugin. Just pay attention to the latency because this is not as fast as uh, SuperEc. SuperEc Performer in my experience introduced more latency than the normal uh, SuperEc. Then again, I can do all of this with just one laptop, so it's very, very easy. All right, that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Take care.